Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kahila or K, and oh my gosh, I'm starting this vlog way later than I usually do. It's currently Tuesday, right? Oh yeah, it's Tuesday because I need to edit a video tonight for tomorrow, but honestly, I'm probably not gonna get it done until tomorrow, for tomorrow, because I'm gonna be playing games with my siblings tonight, so yeah. Anyway, I usually start filming my vlogs on Saturdays, but I had to get my hair done and a bunch of other stuff and I was literally not knitting like that. So I was just like, I'm just gonna film when my hair is done and everything that I needed to get done is accomplished. So let me put this down so I can show you guys. Oh yeah, uh, new hair color. <laughs> But if you guys saw my knit and chat, you would have seen because I filmed my knit and chat today for tomorrow. So if you guys saw that before this, then you would know that I have new hair color. Anyway, I split for sleeves on my Cumulus T. Very exciting. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Silk and cotton and stuff. Those fibers are so interesting to me. Like it gives such interesting fabric but here it is oh my gosh I'm so excited for this it's so great so I split for sleeves so now I'm putting this away for a little bit so that I can knit on my skirt which I would love to have a lot of progress in or like get a lot of progress in that'd be great and I'm wearing my Monday sweater I haven't worn this in a while so I was just like ooh. I want to wear it today. Like I wore it so that I can have it in my, what's the video I just filmed? My knit and chat. And then I was just like, mm, yeah, let me just wear it for today because it's so nice and toasty and warm. And I love the color. It goes so well with my hair color. So I was just like, oh, mm, very nice. Anyway, here's my skirt so far have a lot to do so let's get it oh, it's gonna feel nice knitting on bigger needles five millimeter needles even though I love absolutely love knitting on my 3.25 millimeter needles like knitting up the cumulus tea has made me realize how much I love tiny needles but it's nice to have a little break and knit on bigger needles so I'm gonna work on this today and then come back to my cumulus tea like later tonight or something. We shall see. Anyway, I just wanted to get this vlog started because I totally forgot that I did not start it yet. So, see ya. Guys, today is Wednesday. I am editing, I'm going to start editing the video for today, which is the knit and chat. I'll link it for you guys if I haven't linked it already. And yeah, I don't even know how long it is. I was supposed to answer a bunch of questions, like way more than I answered in the video, but then the video was getting long and I was just like, I don't feel like editing all of that. Literally, I ended it off <laughs> earlier than I wanted to because I didn't feel like editing on an extra long video. So we'll see how long it is. And today we're gonna be knitting on my skirt. I really wanna get some good progress into that. And then later on, I'll dive into my cumulus tee, which I'm very excited to knit on. I just love, I love the needles. Mm. But yeah, that's literally it today, I think, I believe. Yeah, I might, I might do some other things, but we'll see. It might not happen as well. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm just gonna watch some knit videos and Bailey Syrian, because I have her video loaded. And yeah, it's gonna be a nice chill day. <laughs> So I finally posted my video. Oh my gosh, it's like two in the afternoon, but that's okay. 
Anyway, I'm excited. I love filming and posting videos. Like, oh, it just makes me so happy. I also love just sitting down and knitting and talking to you guys and uploading videos like that. So definitely expect more knit and chats in the future. But I'm very excited. I, what is today? Today is Wednesday, I think. Today is Wednesday. I'm going to end off this video on like Friday or something. So it's going to be a shorter vlog than usual since I started it yesterday. Hey, Onyx. She's sleeping behind my laptop. She just shipped it. <laughs> She's so cute. Anyway, so yeah, this is going to be a shorter vlog, but it's whatever. It's cool. I might make some waffles tomorrow. So we have syrup again. Sounds good. Oh, also, we might go to the library tomorrow because I need to go to the library for my other videos still. I literally forgot I was telling you guys something. I am going to film my podcast on Saturday, I think. So did I have like Sunday to edit it and then post it Monday. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Plus then I can have more progress on my projects. I feel like knitting my sock right now. This is my progress on my skirt. There's a bunch of cat hair on it, but this is the progress so far. So I have one, two, three, four. I'm on a fifth stripe, the fifth out of 13 stripes before the split, because it's gonna have a split hem. So this is what it's looking like. It's so cool. I'm so excited to start the top. Like I said, I don't have a deadline. Well, like I said in my last video, I don't have a deadline for this. It's just, I want it for the summer slash spring so yeah anyway I'm really craving my sock so I'm just gonna go ahead and start knitting my sock because I haven't I haven't knitted on it in a while so I'm gonna do that I'm trying to pick up this yarn and then I will knit on my cumulus tea I literally blanked on what it was called for a second but it feels so nice to have projects different projects that aren't like huge sweaters because like I like I said before I do not like knitting multiple big projects at the same time like especially sweaters mainly sweaters when I say that I'm talking about sweaters but I can knit on this like skirt that's just like random and then my small needle cumulus tee and then a little sock and I also have my beanie <gasps> I might have to make some progress on my beanie as well We can focus on all the projects in this short amount of time I have for this vlog. So first up, the sock. Sock bag. <sighs> I haven't pulled this out in so long. What does my sock even look like? I believe I was like deep into the, yeah, <sighs> this two by two rib. You guys, I'm so excited to talk about this on my podcast too. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so good. Look at this. Look at the colorway. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I need to make some progress on this. Oh, also, I talked about in like a couple videos ago. I don't remember which vlog it was. <laughs> I filmed so many vlogs, I literally can't keep up. But I was talking about how... I haven't done any like color changing before with my socks and how I'm not sure how I'm gonna do to heal, but I'm gonna make it work. And then Chelsea from True Lane, she suggested that I knit a row around of the new color before I get started on a heel. So that's what I'm gonna do. Like right before, what is this? Right before I have to start the heel, which one's first? Heel flap or heel turn? I think it's heel. I don't remember. Why can't I remember? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me go to the pattern. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, I want to do these Osetta socks so badly, bro. Ever since she came out with them, I was like, give me these socks. Okay, let me show you guys real quick because they look so cozy. It's like worsted weight, I think. It's like little, it's called slippers. 
Can you see this? Oops, sorry. Let's, let's just show it like this. Because the window is right there, so like it's gonna... Anyway, the season slippers. Oh, so good. I think it's worsted. It's knitted on, yes, worsted weight. Erin slash worsted knitted on 3.75 millimeter needles. Which is nice. I don't have 9 inch circulars in that size so anyway vanilla socks okay the heel flap is next yeah so so yeah I can do the one row round of the new color and then Wait, I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully that works. That'll be really, hopefully I'm, hopefully that's what she means. Okay, we're going to figure it out. You know what? How about, I'm like 20 rounds from reaching the heel flap. So let's just try to, let's try to do that today. Because that'll be really nice to figure out in this video. day 7 50 a.m right now and i'm just like i'm getting straight into this sock okay because i started the heel last night and my battery is dying why didn't i get new batteries i'll be right back all right let's try this again my phone is stuck in my pocket oh, there we go all right as i was saying I started where's my row counter? There we go. I started my heel last night. A looky looky. Oh my gosh. I haven't done this heel in so long. It looks so weird. Especially since it's a different color. And doing the row of color, like right before I start the heel. Mm, beautiful, perfect, seamless. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. I literally, yesterday, I was showing, was I showing Khalil my sock or something? I think I was showing Khalil my sock or my sock sets that I got. <gasps> Did I show you guys my Sorella sock set that I got? I'm not going to show you guys, actually, because I'm literally filming a podcast episode on Saturday. Today is Thursday, so I'm going to film it Saturday, post it Monday. So it's going to be coming soon anyway. This is dropping on Saturday. So you guys are gonna you guys are gonna see it soon. Anyway, so I was knitting on my socks or doing something with my socks and showing my sock sets to Kalila that I got and it just made her so excited to knit on her does she even have socks on the needles? Either knit on socks that she has right now on the needles or start a new sock project. And then we started talking about sock sets and she was like, yeah, we have a bunch of sock sets. And I was just like, mm, no, we don't. And she's like, mm, yes, we do. Cause I was like, no, we have a lot of single Hanks. And she's like, no, come see. So we went to our sock yarn stash, which we combined together because it's just, we, <laughs> both of our personal hand dyed yarn stashes are like on a bigger side so we're just like let's just put all of our sock yarn that'll be like solely for socks together just because it wasn't like that much separately anyway so then we went there to the yarn stash and then she pulled out like 15 sock sets and I was just like where did this all come from but I forgot I wasn't a sock knitter when she started sock knitting so she bought like 
tons of sock sets. And then I found sock sets that I bought like January, February of last year from Red Door Fiber Studio. And I was just like, oh my gosh. So I pulled that out, put that in this stash right now. And I'm going to show you guys that yarn in my podcast episode. And also we found like some Hanks that we got from 2021, early 2022. And I literally, she gave me a couple of hers, so I'm going to show that as well. And I'm just like, I'm so excited because it got me even more excited to knit on a sock and just to finish my projects in general because of all the beautiful yarn. And then I got her to pull out sock sets for like socks to continue for the upcoming months because unlike me, she didn't have like sock yarn for like her next sock project. In queue, so I was just like, "Ooh, this one right here. Oh, that one would be so good. Oh, and we found like the softest sock set ever. I think it's from like Ulan, Olan, something like that. I'm not sure. I just know it was so soft and so pretty. All of this to say, I'm just so excited to work on my next sock <laughs> and the next sock after that, the next sock after that. And I'm so excited to show you guys my sock sets that I pulled out in my podcast. Ah, oh, it's just gonna be so great. That podcast is probably going to be a long one. Unless I decide to keep my description of everything short. It might not be too long. But either way, I don't care if it is long because I haven't posted a podcast in a while anyway. I think when's the last time let's see let's see the last time was mm -mm. it was January 9th Ooh, today is March 9th hmm weird that I literally saw it on the 9th hmm but yeah, the last time I posted a podcast was two months ago. But also in that time, I uploaded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I uploaded thirteen videos after that, so <laughs> I think we're good. But I do love sitting down and filming podcasts and talking about my projects. Which is why I'm just like, oh my god, I have so many finished projects. Please, I need to film this. So, yeah. It's always so hard for me to purl on these tiny 9-inch circulars. E. Anyway, I'm going to continue to heal. I'm going to finish it. And I want to reach the leg today. Okay? So, I want to do this heel flap. I want to finish this heel flap. Do the heel turn. Finish the gusset. And get into the leg okay get into the leg so then I can really see what this heel looks like I'm excited <laughs> We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Guys. I'm so excited because guess what? It's literally 2.09 right now. Ah, what? This looks so good on camera. So good on camera, Louie. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> this is so cool. Clear. I can't clear because my face is right here. 
Like, look at that. I accomplished it, guys. I mean, I hope this is what it's supposed to be like, but even if, it looks good to me, so. <laughs> Eek. Now, I'm literally just gonna be knitting until I knit the length of my foot before my toes and then use the contrasting color to knit up the toe. Anyway, progress on a sock, progress on a sock. That's literally all I wanted. This is literally what I wanted to get done today. And I got done with it earlier than I thought I would. But I keep forgetting that socks don't even take me long. I just take my time with socks and I just, I just don't work on my socks, honestly. Anyway, so now that that's done and I officially know how to do a contrasting heel, I'm going to put this away for now, probably try and finish it like tomorrow or something or get to the toe tomorrow. But right now, I just want to knit on my cumulus tee because I reached the body of that. See, I love when I reach parts of my project where I just knit, you know? So uh, I do have my skirt over here for me to knit, but I think that's more like a later tonight type of thing because I really want to get some progress on my cumulus tee, especially since I just split for sleeves. So we need to get some progress on this, especially since it's 3.25 millimeter nails. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, guys, let's do it. That's just that healthy stuff. Nobody cares about that. Look good. I'm about to get this Just kidding. One. Give me one too. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. So we're about to go to the library. And I'm going to get some knitting done there. But I'm mainly going so that I can... Malika's taking it off. So that I can get some writing done. And yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Because different scenery. I'm excited. I love the atmosphere of the library. So much. I was just like, in my own thoughts, like, anyway, yeah. That's it. guys last day of this vlog it's nice and rainy today so it's gonna be cozy vibes I'm gonna knit on my cumulus tee let's see I put Kalila told me put a progress keeper since the project is so tiny so then you can see how much you get done I'm like okay fine so I put one where did I put it where's my stitch marker okay I put one right here all right you guys can see that yeah put one right there so i'll keep up with my progress and i love how loose this is on this on the stitches on the needle as well look at my little progress <laughs> at least it's not like super thin anymore it's you know getting there we're getting some progress guys ah. i like that this is loose because this is I mean, obviously gonna be like a summer and win summer and winter. I cannot speak today. A spring and summer garment. So I'm not expecting it to be like tight, you know? Plus I am using B 
big-ish needles for the size of this yarn, but that's okay. I like it. I, I need to start embracing loose fabric, summer clothing, spring clothing. Like, uh, I just need to, I need to just fully embrace it. I plan on embracing it this year. Okay, so yeah, today's the last day of the vlog. I want to get more progress in this tea. Also, oh, I'm about to watch a video on how to bind off an I-cord since that's what I'm going to have to do whenever I reach the end of this body. So I'm like, let me just see how it is because I've honestly never watched a video on how to bind off an I-cord because I've never had to do it on any of my projects. So I'm very excited to watch that and see. I know it takes forever according to people, but that's fine. I don't care. I'm going to enjoy the process. And yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. It's just gonna be a nice chill day, honestly. here because I'm currently playing Fortnite with Malika and yeah I'm just gonna play Fortnite and knit for the rest of the day so that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you worked on while watching it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever I post another video also I did get progress hold on I'm ending out the video and show you guys my progress it's a little bit but here it is, you know, progress keeper, hold on, progress keeper, progress, yeah. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I update you guys on any and everything dealing with my yarn, my projects, and life. And I'll see you guys in the next one.